Hey Desk Jockeys, this is Dr. Kevin Christie with the Modern Desk Jockey Podcast. And today we're gonna to talk about how to avoid the mouse trap. And what the mouse trap is, is this pain that you get on the right side of the shoulder as a desk worker. And really what ends up happening is, we call it the mouse trap because you're using the mouse a lot, right? And then what's going on is, by lifting that shoulder up just a little bit during that mouse usage consistently, you know, hours and days and weeks and months, you end up getting this nasty trigger point right at the trapezius muscle on the right side because you're using the right arm for the most part and you're just subtly uh, shrugging that shoulder up. And so that's why we call it the mouse trap. And we want to try to avoid that from happening. And some of the keys to avoiding that, first off, is proper ergonomics. And as it pertains to this issue, we want to make sure that our desk and our, and our chair height is ideal to where we're not kind of lifting up a little bit to reach our keyboard or our mouse. That subtle shrugging is going to cause a lot of excessive strain on that area. So that's key number one. Key number two with your ergonomics is making sure that mouse is not too far out to the right. A lot of times people are reaching constantly doing the movement with the mouse. So we want to bring that nice and close. So now we're sitting with our shoulders relaxed, our chest up, and then just using the mouse more in that uh, position versus reaching. So that's key is to having the ergonomics. Another thing you can implement if you're having pain there or you wanna be preventative in nature, and believe it or not, you can get used to this after a few weeks of it, is switch the mouse over to the left side um, and you can alternate that throughout the day or every other day. There's different things you can do that's more comfortable for you, but you can use that mouse on the left side to try to equal it out a bit. It might sound crazy for you, but you will get used to it. So make sure that your ergonomics are ideal. The next step is to implement micro breaks throughout your day, every hour or so. We have these little micro break cards we, we designed specifically for desk workers, and it gives them a set of four to five stretches to do every 60 minutes or so, just to break up that monotony of sitting, and especially that stress on the right side. So make sure you're implementing those uh, micro breaks, and we have those resources for you. Uh, the third thing is, is doing corrective exercises to improve your posture and to prevent some of the tightnesses that occur or weaknesses in the body. And so we have a whole uh, posture correction exercise program that a lot of our desk workers implement. And so you really wanna make sure you're implementing corrective exercises throughout your week. You know, Maybe a few times a week would be ideal to, to do that in addition to your micro breaks. Uh, so those are three really good ways of preventing this mousetrap from happening. Now, if you fell into the mousetrap and you're having pain, one of the best ways to get rid of that is through some muscular work, some myofascial release, whether it's active release technique, grasping technique, massage, things of that nature is gonna really help you out. In addition to, uh, we find in our practice, chiropractic adjustments can really help out as well. Uh, so if you're dealing with the pain from that, you might wanna seek physician's uh, consultation and potentially treatment conservatively of that and then get back into preventative uh, aspects for this mousetrap. So that's the mousetrap, that's how to prevent it, and that's what to do if you do fall into the trap, but let's make sure we always are implementing some pre preventative measures for you. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week on the Modern Desk Jockey.